I, I think I, I, I saw a person. It seemed very real. Come on, could be a man. Hello, my name is Eva. What is your name? Eva is a robot built by Hanson Robotics. It has 32 degrees of freedom to represent 48 muscle actions of the human face. It also has a skin made from structured porosity elastomer material, which allows simulating human-like facial expressions. It can generate various movements and speak. But can it be considered an intelligent robot? It depends. People have different perceptions of robots. Quite scary. Pretty, pretty robot. And different expectations. I hear the word robot and I imagine a machine with a lot of cables. It was not what I had in mind. But above all, a lot of people attribute different human qualities to robots. It was just kind of kind of shaking his, his head when I was wrong. It was it was nodding when I was right. The robot moves the eyes according to the words. It always turned to me when I was speaking. I thought I'd close the eyes a little bit so like it was focusing on me. The robot doesn't shake its head to say yes or no. The eye movements are not synchronized with the generated speech. And it doesn't follow the user's movements with its eyes. What a robot does is generate idle head and eye movements, synchronize lip movements with the speech, and simulate some facial expressions. The interaction between the robots and users is bounded by a script. The entire conversation and robot behavior are pre-programmed. Both the robot and users should follow the script while having a conversation. All possible questions and answers are displayed on the computer screen or on the tablet PC. Can you tell me what is the capital city of Switzerland? It's Bern. Correct answer. Bravo. Bern. Correct answer. Bravo. Bern. Correct answer. Bravo. But what happens if we try to go beyond the script? I'd love it to be Geneva, but I think... Sorry, wrong answer. Was it a difficult one for you? <laughs> one of the most common attributions people make to robots is intelligence. Some people attribute mental skills to the machines that go much beyond the script and software. It doesn't matter whether the robot is inherently intelligent, but rather whether the robot appears intelligent. I almost forgot it was a robot. The robot was able to understand me. It looks that the robot is not uh, only pre-programmed, but sometimes uh, when uh, the person has uh, made an, another comment, the robot knew how to answer to that. One can adopt the strong artificial intelligence stance. That is, assume that it is possible to duplicate human intelligence in artificial systems. On the other hand, one can follow the stance of weak artificial intelligence, as we do, where human intelligence is only simulated rather than duplicated. This is where the human tendency to project intelligence onto robots becomes useful. It is always humans who set benchmarks for the artificial intelligence, and decide whether a robot is intelligent or not. The way people perceive robot intelligence depends on different factors, above all robot design and the individual tendency to anthropomorphize the machines. Besides, things that matter are the physical and social environment in which robots are being used and the task they are supposed to accomplish. What seems to be an intelligent action in one case might seem as not so intelligent in another case. The robot uh, knew how to change the subject. I think its response every time was exactly the same. In any case, the illusion of intelligence in a robot can be achieved through projective intelligence on the part of the human observer. The difficulty lies in maintaining the illusion over time.